The Raleigh Christmas Parade is back on with a few adjustments. Thank you for joining us. I'm Gerald Owens. And I'm Lena Tillette. Just yesterday, the city announced it was canceling the parade because of the tragedy at last year's event when a little girl was hit and killed. But Haley Brooks' family said the decision to cancel was wrong. So the city came up with a compromise and we'll have a parade, but without vehicles. WRO's Aaron Thomas talked with parade veterans about the sudden change of heart and he joins us live. Aaron, what are they saying about this? Yeah, Gerald, Lena, this is a big deal. Whether you are a member of the band or you're a dance performer, this is often the largest uh, performance that a lot of these performers get to take part in here in downtown Raleigh. Those groups that we spoke with say that they're willing to make this compromise, even if it means no vehicles on the streets. Cue up the band. Come November 18th, these bright sounds and fun-filled colors will fill the streets of downtown Raleigh after all. To have those traditions uh, at Leesville and at other schools here in the Raleigh area and beyond, is, it's something special. Welcoming news for Alyssa Colburn and the Leesville Road High School Marching Band. The band she directs has many years of history-making appearances in the parade. Being able to have that opportunity and doing it maybe a little bit differently, I think there's going to be uh, a light at the end of the tunnel and people are going to be pretty excited about it. When Raleigh announced plans to cancel the parade following the tragic loss of 11-year-old Haley Brooks last year, other organizations with long-standing history, like the Cary High School Band, were devastated. Because that's the biggest thing that we do. That's the biggest biggest crowd. It's easily what, like, hundreds of thousands of people are there. And so the kids it, love that exposure, and they love you know marching through downtown. It's a, it's a great ambiance, and the kids actually enjoy it. Uh Performers of all kinds now get to enjoy the long-standing tradition once again, just without vehicles in the lineup. This was the best resolution. Uh, maybe vehicles never needed to be there, so that, that's fine. But let the kids be kids and have... Their, their opportunity to shine. A resolution giving parents a chance to see their children take their talents from the field to the streets in November. Well, of course, now scrolling through social media, some folks were wishing that the parade could still go on with the vehicles with some safety standards in place. The Greater Raleigh Merchants Association, they were saying how obviously there's a few details to work out, but they're fortunate and thankful they've been given this opportunity for that permit. Gerald. A lot of happy kids in our area tonight. Aaron Thomas, live in Raleigh. Thank you, Aaron.